Hi everyone, I'm Todd and welcome to another edition of AI Powered PM where we provide practical examples of how to use AI effectively to streamline your job. One question that comes up a lot as a PM is, what's the status of a particular project? This information often exists in Azure DevOps, but the people who ask this question want it in a more consumable and relatable format than sharing a sprint board view or ADO query. Today, as promised, we're going to build a co-pilot agent that will help in this area. I set out to build an agent that will answer two questions. First, what are the items in a particular sprint? And second, how many total hours are there? How many are completed? And how many remain in that sprint? So enough talking, let's get into the demo. But first, let's talk about the prerequisites. We're going to be working with Power Platform, and here's the big picture. It's made up of four different parts. Copilot Studio, where we'll build conversational AI agents. Power Automate, where you can build automated workflows. Power BI, where you can analyze and visualize data. And then Power Apps, where you can build custom applications. Specifically today, we'll be working with the Dataverse component of Power Apps. Now, this is just an extremely high level. There's ton more, tons more features and functionality to each of these, but let's just stay at the 50,000 foot view. And today, we're going to focus specifically on these baddies right here, Copilot Studio and Dataverse. So why this tech stack? First is accessibility. 80 to 90% of enterprise users already have access through an existing Microsoft 365 license. Uh, second is cost. If you don't, you can get Microsoft 365 Business Basic for $6 a month. So it's accessible to pretty much anybody. Um, and then security, you know, your data stays within your organization's Microsoft tenant. There's a lot of governance policies around it. It's IT approved uh, across enterprise customers. And that's central user management. And then integration. There's a seamless data flow between familiar business applications with this product suite. All right, so now we're in DevOps and we're looking at what's in the Sprint board. And as you click in, you can see there's many templates built into ADO. This one happens to have original estimates, uh, remaining and completed hours, which will be important to, as we do our demo a little bit later in this, in this presentation. Now let's jump on over to queries and we'll go into our sprint progress status. And you'll see there's just a simple query. It, it returns back basically everything that we've got in ADO. And now we're going to export it to a CSV file. In the CSV file, you can see that we have the same rows and data. Now we're jumping into Copilot Studio. So we'll create a new agent. And let's skip straight to configuration. Let's name it Contoso Air DevOps. And I'll paste in a starter description and starter instructions. Great. Now, Let's check into the knowledge sources. They're very limited. The only ones available at this point are public websites and SharePoint. Everything else is buried out. But that's okay, let's go ahead and create this agent. Now it's created, and if we come back to knowledge source, you'll see that we have uh, Dataverse and many other options. So let's go into Dataverse. All right, this isn't Dataverse. It, it's not quite that epic. Let me show you what the real Dataverse looks like. All right, this is the real Dataverse. Uh, you can see we're going to create a table and we can start with our CSV file. All right, so that's loaded. Let's import it. Now, when it imports, it's important that we go through and check all the columns. By default, it won't necessarily have all the columns created. 
All right, let's find that table we created. All right, let's go down. Let's find work item record. You notice the standard data, uh, standard type, and which is what you need. And then you'll see that here's all the data that we have in our Excel. It's now loaded into this table in Dataverse. Let's go into columns, and we'll create a new column. Let's call this one Sprint, and we'll add a description. All right, let's select our data type, which will be formula. I'll give you this formula. I'll put it in the comments or link to it later. For now, let's just see what, what it did. So we'll go back into the table view. Let's adjust it so we can show that column that we just created. And we can see now that we took the iteration path column and instead of saying Contoso Air Iteration 2, you'll get a value that's just 2. Or Contoso Air Iteration 3, you get a value that's just 3, etc. All right, jumping back into Copilot Studio. Let's add in the table we just created as a knowledge source. All right, so we need work item record. And let's go ahead and add that. Great, let's test this. What are the available iteration paths? All right, it's checking the knowledge source. Let's see what it comes back with. All right, so it found Contoso Air 2, iteration 2, 3, and 1, which is correct. Let's ask it, what are the rows in Contoso Air iteration 2? All Okay, good. It pulled back the titles. By the way, I didn't mention this earlier, but title was the primary key. So that's why it's pulling back those as the um, default values. So let's ask it, show me the items in Contoso Air Iteration 2 and include title, assigned to, total hours, uh, hours remaining, and remaining hours. Alright, great. So it pulled back what we were looking for. I didn't do a perfect job on that prompt, but it gave us the title. Who it was assigned to, the total hours, and the hours remaining. So that's actually starting to look a little more useful. But let's see by person. So for each assigned to person, give me the total hours, completed hours, and remaining hours. And summarize by person. All right, so you can see we've got an all-star team over here at Contoso Air. We've got Johnny Cash, Linus Torvalds, and Richard Feynman. Uh, and they correctly pulled back total hours, completed hours, and remaining hours. Now let's see if we can 
uh, reference the same data by saying sprint two. Show me the items in sprint two. And it failed. So, all right, let's investigate and see um, some different options we have. So what are the values in sprint? We're just asking what, what's in that column? Okay, so it pulls back the values. All right, let's try to ask it a more targeted question, just to try to get things working. All right, what are the total items in Sprint? Quotation marks, two. All right, and still it failed. So let's dig in here and see what's available. So we go into knowledge. Uh, let's let's work with synonyms. Let's just try uh, try this. Let's use iteration instead of iteration path. That's a pretty good synonym. So what are the available values in iteration? Okay, so, so that worked. So synonyms are really just another way to call the column name a, a different name and have um, Copilot understand it. So, all right, let's try glossary. Let's still keep working on this, on this uh, sprint problem. So let's just try a hard-coded approach here. We're just trying to get the basics working and we can always make it uh, better once we get something simple working. So Contoso Air Iteration 2 and let's describe what this is. So this is the Sprint Iteration A. This example could also be re referenced, referred to as Sprint 2. All right, very explicit in our in our glossary here. So let's let's give it a try and see if it works. Show me the items in sprint 2. All right, it got a little cut off there at the end, but when we queried for sprint, the items in Sprint 2, it, it, it didn't end up working. Um, so if, to recap, we started and I wanted to answer two questions with this agent. What are the items in the Sprint? And how many total hours are there? How many are completed? And how many remain in Sprint 2? So we didn't quite get there. We got close. Um, we, said, we had to say, what are the items in Contoso Web Iteration 2, all right? And we said, and the same thing is true for the second question. Um, but, you know, I think it's good enough for, for MVP. Um, if I was, but I also think that, I don't have any insider knowledge here, but I would imagine that Azure DevOps will come as a knowledge source at some point in the product uh, for Copilot Studio. And then I think then it's gonna be a more appropriate time to build a co-pilot agent like this. And then I think it'll be more, more reliable, more robust. Right now, uh, end users have to be very familiar with the, with the column names in order to use it effectively and see the views. So I don't think, it's like a nice MVP or proof of concept, but I don't quite think it's ready for prime time just yet. Um, if it was, my next steps would be I would show you how to automate so you could always get uh, the new items uh, uploaded into Dataverse. Um, but we'll save that for when things are a little farther along and a little bit more matured. And then we can implement this scenario in a much better way. So thanks for watching. That's how far I can get on Azure DevOps. 
I guess I know now why I couldn't find a video explaining how to build this up on YouTube. So now there's one. You see how far I can get and you see how, how some of the shortcomings. So, all right. Thank you very much. I'll see everyone next time.